Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to juggle there. Uh, what's flying, guys? I'm Max, and this is Maximum Drone, and today we're doing something different. I'm gonna compare those two uh, flexible tripod. Uh, it's the Joby uh, Gorilla Pod, you might know, against the uh, Lamku, I don't know how to pronounce it, let's say Lamku, flexible tripod. But wait a minute, I've seen most of you are not subscribed to my channel. Please do subscribe to my channel if you like that kind of content. And oh, also don't forget to press the uh, bell notification so we can know when I'm posting new videos. Oh, and if you like it, please press the thumbs up there. Thank you very much. So let's continue. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah, 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 I'm gonna compare those two tripods to see which one's the best in uh, solidity, flexibility, and ease of use for vlogging. Stay tuned after this. Okay, first test is gonna be a solidity test. I'm gonna use this tray. I can attach every tripod on this. And I'm gonna use diving weights on top until the tripod crashes or collapses. Let's go. Okay, I'm ready for the little experiment. This is the uh, Gorilla Pod. Let's put in a steady spot. This looks steady. Okay, let's start off with the two pounds. Let's go. Two, four, Six, eight. Now the three pounders, 11, 14, 17. <laughs> now the heavy weights, 17 plus five, 22. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> it collapsed at 22. Uh, oh well, let's see how it goes with the Lamku tripod. This one with Lamku. First, the two pounders. Two, four, six, eight, eleven. 14. Still holding the, down there. Uh, 11, 14, 17. Now the heavy pounders. 22. Oh my god! Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Didn't hold more than 22 pounds. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess there's no winner here. Both collapsed at 22 pounds, so let's see now for the flexibility test. All right, for this uh, flexibility test, I'm gonna use my big A7 III camera with my 7200 millimeters lens, so it's quite the heaviest weight I could have right now with the uh, cameras I have. So, let's test it out on that fence. See if it holds into place. Hold on, I'm gonna screw this little one. All right. Oh, by the way, you might have noticed this is really a Canadian shirt. Uh, the pocket with the mousse on it, with the color of uh, Canadians. Of course, I'm French Canadian, so that's why. Okay, <laughs> let's go with the strapping on the fence test for the flexibility. Maybe on the other side, yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun there. It seems it's holding. Let's open and close the gate. <laughs> it's holding. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy. That way it's holding. On the, the way down, it didn't work out 
Oh, by the way, uh, in this video, as you can see, this is how I did. I used the Gorilla Pod to hold on. It was a tiny uh, GoPro camera, so it's, it wasn't the A7 III as I have right now, but you can see the use of it. And now let's see with the Lamco flexible tripod if it holds as well as the Gorilla Pod. So same thing, I'm gonna mount it on top. And so, you can see well, I can pass one leg. It's holding, it's holding. Let's open and close the door. It's holding as well as the car pod, surprisingly, but yeah. And now you could just pitch. There you go. It's not the best place to mount a camera, but it's doable. <laughs> So I guess it's neck to neck uh, with the solidity and flexibility uh, Gorilla Pod against the uh, Lamco. All right, the last test is gonna be the ease of use of the tripod to use it for vloggers. So most vloggers, what they do, they twist. Oh my God. <laughs> Oops. You butthole, you broke it. Uh, <laughs> I twisted too much. Oh my God. Okay, let's put it back in. Uh, easy fixable because it snaps into place. It's just balls of plastic linked together. So let's do this again. Usually they don't, they don't twist it that much, barely. And they use it like this. So yeah, it works. And can uh, stretch your arm a bit more, uh, stretch the, uh, the legs a bit more to have more reach, as you can see over there. So it works. Now let's see with the Lamku one. Okay, I installed the Lamku tripod on my A7 III. So same thing, they twist the bottom of the legs to have more reach, like so. And it works. And in that case, you won't have the problem I had earlier with the popping of the ball. Uh, yeah, because it's all metal inside, it's, uh, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna, write it down the components uh, in the description so it's it's easily flexible as you can tell and it, it still holds into place even with that amount of weight on top the a7 III and the 1635 lens f4 i forgot to mention it's f4 it's not f2.8 there you go so bottom line there is no real winner here they're both very good at what they do. And if you pop one ball, you can place it back. So it's very easily replaceable. And this, I don't think you can break this one, uh, to be honest. And uh, it's very flexible too. They, they re resist until 22 pounds as we uh, tested it before. And, uh, but for traveling, I think this is the best one. Why? Because it's very lightweight compared to this one. It's a little bit uh, heavier. I'm gonna place down in the description or even there in the description, uh, in the uh, bottom of the screen, the weight of each one. So, Gorilla Pod, this weight. Lamco Pod, this weight. There's no, not a big difference, but I can feel it. Uh... So, do I have a preference between the two? I think I really like Lamco because it's more flexible. Uh, I wouldn't say it's more flexible. I mean, look at that. Look at this. So it's pretty much the same, uh, but it's more lightweight. But, oh, there's one thing I prefer with the Gorilla Pod. The quick release plate. Look at that. Doink. The quick release is very useful when you have to just uh, remove it from uh, where it was, the camera. The camera is gonna be on this. I'm gonna screw it on this. And release it, and replace it. And also there's a, there's a screw down there. So we can, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So there's a, a screw so we can very tight in it. Um, in comparison, this one, you can't really tighten it. 
you have to screw it, screw it, and sometimes you don't know if it's screwed well. There's a, a rubber disc on top to hold it into place. Well, if you have heavy weights, I think I would go with the Gobi. Uh, the Gobi. Joby. <laughs> I would go with Joby. I got it about because you can really tie it with a, a dime or whatever, a quarter. And this one you can't. You just have to screw it. As tight as you can. Well, whew, that sums up the comparison uh, between the two flexible tripod, the Joby Garia pod and the Lamku flexible pod. And uh, I, hope, I hope you liked it. And if you did, please press the uh, like button over there and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>